All right, fighter signs. You're last, but definitely not least. In my heart, least. Anyway. Tell your shadow judgment. This is for October 11th to October 18th. Right? Right. Fire signs. Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Check your charts. This resonates with you. Good deal. If not, don't worry about it. It's just a card game. We just boop our nose and away we goes and away we go. So what's your card? Four of Swords, Reverse. No rest for the wicked, eh? Uh, oof, excuse me. So let's see. Aries, you're up first. Yours was actually kind of creeped me out, this um, mid-monthly that I just got done doing. Your, your guys' video actually creeped me out because it's like, oh god, it's like watching something from the outside going in. You might be, you or maybe an air sign might be cutting out some revealed secrets of some sort. If I could talk today. Sorry. You might be cutting out some secrets or some shit, right? Also, cross watch or switch where you need to, right? Hmm. And there you are looking over here at this shit like, yeah, bitch, you got a point. Maybe it is time to cut this shit off, you know? This Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, she could be in a third party situation that led to a breakup. The moon here could be Cancer or Pisces. Um, these secrets that got revealed might have somebody who orchestrated these secrets to happen. Right? And you're sitting here feeling all broken shit. Aries just being like, what the fuck? Why are you, why are the glue and nail an apple to your head, bird? Why can't you just be trainable like I want you to? This Empress might be just a little bit, uh, like, you know, the Empress and the Queen of Wands right here, they're both extremely young. They could even be the same person for all we know. Um, as far as I'm concerned, like, um, all of the court card queens are the embodiment of the, um, Empress. Like, she starts out young, and then she grows up. Like, I always say it's cup, fire, air, and earth in the order of maturity. Earth being the eldest and water being the youngest. Fire is not too bad, but it's still got that young kick to it. Air is just like, you know, uh, like angst. It's just like, I want to be as cold as the light of the moon when it touched me. That like, um, Johnny the Homicidal Maniac kind of shit, right? If you've never read that comic, oh my god, you need to. It's so good. Anyway, but it's kind of like that energy. And it's like, she's kind of immature, but she's feeling a little bit like, eh, uh, because like she doesn't have much to her right now. You know? Might be some indecision after this whole third party breakup that got cut out, you know? This Queen of Swords might have just cut out this third party because, you know, it wasn't helping her none. Like, it was making her fucking broken shit, you know? And somebody kind of manipulated with the magician this um, separation. Could be divorce, excommunication. Separation from the church, society, group, family, friends, jobs, co-workers, shit like that. The connectivity, and there's one person who's linked to the center of that. It could be an authority figure. It could be you and how you view yourself as the role in this um, paradigm. Really. Um, but this all stems around leaving that paradigm, one way or another. Either by people forcing you out or you resigning of your own character. You know? Also, Aries, you're not giving a damn to this uh, third party right here that's left you confused and shit. Or this air sign feels like confused and shit. Like, air signs, like, if it's a Libra, I feel like they're not going to compete because I don't know what it is about Libra, but for me, it always seems like they don't compete because they don't want to lose, so they cause themselves the forfeit, which is a loss automatically. You know? It's like, they're not going to take the time to wonder... So they just nip themselves in the bud and just fuck themselves so that way they don't have to deal with it. It's like, I'm not wasting my mental energy on you. You know, you bother me too much. But at the same time, it's just like, you know, I don't know, man. Air, like, Libra's weird. Like, my dad's a Libra. I was friends with the Libra for the longest time. And they're pretty cool. Like, I want to go with the flow people. But sometimes, like, they confuse the shit out of me. Because it's just like, what the fuck is there to wonder about? You ain't even done nothing to wonder for. 
You don't know if there's anything to wonder for to begin with. What if there's... What, what's the point of worrying about being a loser if you're not going to compete to begin with? <laughs> you know? Like, why are you competing to begin with? Like, you know, um... I can't remember who it was that I was watching and talked about this, but it talked about, um... They were at dinner with a friend and a dude that they were messing with, and like they went to the bathroom and came back. I guess these two people were exchanging information or whatever, and she was all up in her feelings, like I just never spoke to the motherfucker again. And I think she's Libra, and I was just sitting there like, but why? Like he didn't do anything wrong. Like you know, to me, like you know, if you all ain't together, they ain't enough of a question. And you know, you shouldn't be wondering if someone's gonna compete over you or not. You're you're not a trophy. You're a decent human being, I almost feel like. I don't know where that was coming from, but I, it was just like, it, it, if you're dealing with an air sign, to me that makes sense because there's something about the competing that they don't like. Like, you know, Aquarius will compete, but that's because they just want to be right all the fucking time. Um, Gemini will compete, but they'll do so in order to show you, oh, you want to be that way? I'll be that way too. We're going, bitch. Let's have fun, you know? That's how, but, you know, sometimes with Libra, Libra just is confusing sometimes, because it's just like, what the fuck are you doing? Why wouldn't you try that? Who cares about failing, you know? If you're not willing to fail, what's the point of trying to succeed in the first place? You know, lots of practice is shit, you know? You gotta love something enough. And I feel like this person just... I feel like they just... They didn't want to compete, which is like, that's stupid. Like, because I know plenty of Libra who've had that attitude, but expected people to compete for them all the time. Not all of them, you know. I'm just talking about these select few who I've known. Not all Libras are like this. My last two particular neighbors definitely fucking so. <laughs> but it's like, they'll cut shit out and not want to compete. But sometimes it's like they want people to compete for them like they're a trophy, which is like, what the fuck are you doing? You know? <coughs> They're kind of in a fucked up mind space right now. Kind of stuck on shit. Kind of stuck on the fact that you're worried more about yourself. And you're not dealing with their shit right now, Aries. I don't know where all that came from, but... You know, I've had four... Five... Five cups of coffee today, so I've been rambling a motherfucking lot, right? Yeah, like this person, I, I feel like this person just cut out the competition completely. They just cut themselves. They decided that they're going to be a loser automatically by just not trying. And it's like, it's because they don't know. So because they don't know, they're not going to do anything about it. But that's got them in a headspace now. You know, like if you don't know and it keeps you in a headspace, you probably know, you know, you just don't want to acknowledge that because that means you got to think about it. And like I just said, some people, um... They don't want to worry, but they don't understand that, like, that's, like, you know, mentally, yeah, that's, like, an issue. Um, but, you know, your heart is tied to your mind, too. You know, your eyes get bigger when you see the person you're in love with in the room. Um, your heart flutters when you acknowledge the fact of your lover, you know, like, your brain and your heart are linked together. So, if you were trying to, if, if this person was trying to avoid Aries, um, some sort of connection with another motherfucker, they neglected to acknowledge the fact that they have, like, their heart attached, too, and that's why their mind won't let it go. Whereas with you, it's just like, you know what, I'm not offering to dick, because all this does is put me into a bad position. Both of you guys are doing the exact same shit. But for different fucking reasons. And ending up in the same score. Like, this person is going to be stayed stuck in this mentality this week. You're releasing yourself by not acknowledging this shit anymore. You know, this broke-ass, like, young empress right here, she's looking back, but she's going to have her back turned eventually. She's not going to be acknowledging this shit for much longer. Because, you know, there's somebody here who's a little bit demanding, a little bit asking, a little bit like, um, you need to back the fuck up, dude. Like, I'm not your goddamn mother, you know? But they make you feel like, possibly, you're that mother? Or it's going to be an earth sign who's a little bit suffocating for you, if you will. Right? Because there are secrets coming out that someone manufactured in order for another person to be excommunicated. Namely, one of overbearing mother and unfaithful spouse I feel like and I don't think that you like that very much Aries um, I feel like there also might be a scenario in here where you're actually observing people going through this more than anything yeah yeah because you said that in your um 
That was what was going on with your mid-October one, too, I think. Like, and you might be sitting here watching the beginning throws of this, too. You know? Like, the wheel is turning on this shit. The devil is on his back. All this feeling left out in the cold by another person. Just chasing you around, acting like a liability. Um, you're riding in to stop that shit right the fuck now. And be like, come on, fair maiden, come ride my horse. And then you can save a horse and ride the cowboy. Yeah, you know, right? No. Trying to do the right thing in this scenario. Honestly, Aries. You might try to come in and be the knight in shining armor for somebody. And there might be a Libra in this case. And, ooh. Aries, this might lead to a, uh, Happily ever after, or at least a happy ending for some people. Maybe a family, maybe friends, but it's definitely a point where it's the right thing to do, and I almost feel like this changes something for you. Significantly. So whatever it is you're jumping for, it's going to be something that affects you in a manner where, like, it should trigger you, but instead it, it, you do something completely fucking different. But that's your week, Aries. Man, I talked a lot on you guys. I'm so sorry, but it happens. I don't know where I was going with that story, but you know what? Fuck it, we're going with it, right? Leo! It's your turn. Let's see what is going on with your shadow this week. But literally, I've had like five cups of coffee, and I'm really thinking about going on my sixth one, because you know what? This is my only day off. Fuck it. I, I might as well go all the way, man. Either go big or go home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't get to drink coffee very often when I'm working, so it's sadness. Okay, Leo, you're at a crossroads, right? And there might be some shit that you're thinking, oh, this might have ended terribly. Or this didn't produce the way it was supposed to, or this was enabling behaviors, and someone might snub their nose at that shit, being like, harrow, or... I don't fucking know, just something. I don't know. <laughs> Either way. Like, literally, I've had, like, five cups of coffee. and <laughs> I'm probably gonna get ready to crash here soon by the time I get to the end of this. But for right now, I'm hyper as fucking shit, and I'm enjoying every minute of it. Even though I got, like, bridal rehearsal um, later on tonight. Mm, terrible. Very terrible. I look really hot in the dress, though. Like, I am a bridesmaid, but I, goddamn, like, my tits look perfect in that dress. Let me tell you. Mm. And it's nicely cut out and shaved. Fits me perfectly. It's nice and flowy. I'm gonna wear it again one day when I want to look better than everybody else. I'm so fucking excited. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see, Leo. I know, I should be talking about you. I'm sorry. I just got excited for a minute. My apologies. So anyway, you're at a crossroads, but you're not trying to fight for something that happened back in the day. There's some enabling behaviors that have come out with some secrets about a queen of wands. Could be you. Could be possibly a Lee, not Leo, an Aries or a Sag. Also could be your counterpart, really, because Leo, for me, you're always the king of wands, no matter what. You're not going to be anything less than the king. This is how you are. You know, you're sitting on that damn throne. But this could be your mate, your counterpart. Hell, it could be your fucking sister, but that'd be weird. But, you know, that, that's happened before. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that, like, sometimes siblings are crowned at the same time just to break districts apart from each other. That way one sibling will have one entity of the land and the other sibling will have another. They separate kingdoms. But keep the um, camaraderie, or... If I could talk today, camaraderie of um, relations in order to keep the two countries together, but not in that way. That's not what I meant. I'm just letting y'all know. Um, hmm. Someone's got sour feelings about something not starting the way they want to, and now it's like excommunication um, or mutiny against like a divine order, particularly the head of that divine order. Hmm. Leo, I do. I was, wasn't I telling you like you were telling someone who was religious? Hmm. Someone might have had some sneaky nature going on, and 
There might be balance needed between all of this, Leo. This person in the past might have done some naughty, naughty things that might have led to this whole mutiny or separating themselves from this higher order in order to get away from shit. But at the same time, leaving this higher order brought some balance because too much was being given. And this Queen of Wands was looking the other way, just being like, you know what? You ain't giving me shit, despite the fact that, you know, I know I have stuff. I know I have stuff, but God damn it, pay a little bit of attention to me. You know, damn it, Janet. I love you. Anyway. Hmm. What were the secrets, Leo? I want to know. Sorry, I didn't mean to go on a ramble earlier. It was just not like, you know, I get excited. You're like the only people I ever talk to. So, I love you. <laughs> Someone had to walk away after their cups were empty. They were all spilled. I'd be like, fuck this. There's no reason to stick around if I don't love this. You know, which is, I, I understand that sentiment completely. Why stick around with something you don't, you aren't happy with? Um, but someone also had to go inside and look at that before they do so. You know, before they take that journey, that impulsive action, right? To break up with somebody? Oh my god. Okay, whatever. Um... Which might end up being a fight, but you have the upper hand, you know, and you're secure in your emotions at that with the King of Cups, so you'll have no problem with this endeavor whatsoever, but it's like, you know, you kind of want to walk away. That's how you're feeling on the inside, and you're actually examining that and reading that and be like, okay, I got you. Um, but this requires you taking the baby step, which I feel like this is a baby step, to separating from somebody because you already know that this person might just whack the fuck out your head um, and you want to be over top of that situation before you go anywhere further Leo I'll tell you right now like watch what you're doing you know because you know if you're going to do this action be very very careful don't do this impulsively like I think you might do since that card is there you might even be weak or not weak meek with an M you might be meek, you might be timid, you might be, uh, you might be a little bit shy about doing this, but if that's what you choose you have to do in this scenario, like, you know, yeah, my blessing, do what you need to do, man. Find your happiness, I'll say. That's the important thing. But that's what I got for your week, Leo. Sagittarius, it's your turn, yay. My rising sign, Sagittarius. That's why I'm a mouthy bitch. Oh, yes, let's go with it. Everywhere I go, it's another little show where I can deposit a smile or two between me and you. And don't you know that that's exactly what I'll do? Okay, I'll stop now. Anyway, let us see you, Sagittarius. Okay, well, you know. Your actions this week, well, you got the Knight of Wands, so you're not going for any booty, because you need to get your mind right, and that is the right fucking idea. Good for you. Um, you might even need some balance in your life. Figure out who you're giving to and who you're not. You know, you gotta balance that shit out. Yes, the dude has red in his pocket, but you gotta make sure you know which one's got red. Um... In order to get out of this bad mindset, you might need some lack of communication, lack of reaching out. Okay. You're gonna make me stretch out. Yeah, you are. Okay. I got you, Sag. I got you. Look at you go. Figuring shit out. Wheel of Fortune reverse. Five of. One. Okay, yeah, you're trying to avoid a conflict altogether, Sag. Pretty much. Like, people be annoying as shit, but you're still trying to avoid it. Yeah, you are. Yes, you fucking are. Look at you go, Sagittarius. Getting your shit going for you. Getting that adventure. Oh! I love it. Alright, so let's see, Sagittarius. You aren't trying to take any passionate action right now because you are evaluating your balance. However, be very, very careful with how much you're balancing shit out because you can easily balance yourself to be stuck. 
Yeah, you got the Knight of Wands reversed already. You might be focused on trying to figure out the balance, but you could sit there stuck if you're not paying enough attention to what you're doing. Like, keep yourself going with other things, but keep your thoughts, I feel like, or your desire of sorts when it comes to, like, action stuff, you know. Like, take action for sure, but don't let your obsession with fairness consume you. Because, you know, people don't give a fuck about what's fair. Only you do. That's why people suck. Anyway, um, you gotta make some decisions as well, you know, because you got some clarity when it comes to your happiness. But there's also an open door here when it comes to marriage, but at the same time, it's kind of like, you know, I, I just got out of a bad situation with somebody. I don't know if I want to go that route just yet. You know, um, to get out of this bad headspace, you had to go out of communication with somebody because constantly fighting, constant petty arguments, that's what led you to separate from the devil in the first place. Let's just lay some down because I need a nap. Oh god, I still got one more shit. Anyway, well, that's okay. I need to do the other one anyway, it's past due. We got the emperor right here, you might be dealing with an Aries. Um who lacks the ability to take a leap forward, who does not have any faith in the scenario. You know, there's someone from your past and you have a, a strong connection to them for one reason or another. And, but they, they just drag, they literally drag you through the dirt and there's an impression of the drag marks. Full on body scale. It's really soft dirt, but still, it's a drag, you know? Like, they're too much of a burden for you. Who it, who you are, um, you're trying to get your pentacle on, I feel like. There might even be somebody else who might have their pentacles. Could be a Capricorn, a Virgo, a Taurus. Doesn't matter, right? Still, there's another person there that just makes you go like, mmm. But it's like, behind him, it's like all this other bullshit. And it's like, do you really want to deal with that? Is it really necessary to go through? All I'm, I'm dropping one more because I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I want to handle this shit. I'm sad rising. Like fuck this shit. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. So I guess keeping all your feelings on the inside might be an issue as well. That's what I get for running my mouth. Anyway. So let us say that um, in this scenario this king of pentacles has all this baggage behind him right you're examining that baggage with your cup and how it's made you feel this entire time with the queen of cups right here you're just sitting here looking at it like should i really invite this motherfucker back in my room like look he's got this pentacle but he's not even offering it to me he just brings it over to his house to show it off like what the fuck is that supposed to do for me other than have me sit here being like i could make a brand new fucking cup out of all that gold dumb motherfucker like why are you here but he's got like all of this burdens he can't release there are people from his past he's still dealing with but he doesn't know how to take a leap of faith of but he still thinks he's in fucking control even though everything is stopped you know you're looking over all that this particular king of pentacles has given you to stare at and look at and make you wonder about but it's also kind of like you know do i really want to do i really want to put myself in this issue once again is it really worth me going through this shit and this motions with another human being who is not only going through this they aren't even telling me half of what i need to know in order to even help them through this scenario like is it even fair for me to be with somebody who is having such trouble with their issues that they go and take them out on me i feel like is what you kind of ask yourself with the queen of cups because she's very focused on what's in her cup it's covered she wants to look at this cup over before she opens it up and has been like oh well it's bitch time you know she wants to take her time when she is um upright to understand what's going on with this guy over here and I feel like that's what you're going to be doing this week, Sagittarius, so you might have to be considerate in that case. So anyway, that's the end of the read. Yay. So if you guys enjoyed this reading, Fire Signs, you are welcome to like, share, and subscribe. No pressure, of course. Um, it's up to you. I would greatly appreciate it, though. Anyway, um, I probably won't be doing any readings for the next few days because I gotta get ready for a wedding. I have a road. Oh.
if I could talk today. Thank you. I have a wedding rehearsal um, later on tonight, so I might not be available for the... If I could talk today, thank you. Okay, so I might not be available to do personal readings. Um, I'm, I'm going to finish up the ones I already have that are ready either tonight or tomorrow night because I should have time. But other than that, like, it'll be a few days before I upload a, um... You know, whatever. I, whatever I was trying to say. You know what the fuck I was trying to say. Anyway, it'll be a minute, but I will let you guys know in the next rando or whatever the fuck I decide to upload next. But I'll let you guys know. I love your faces. You all be good. Stay suspicious and don't get caught in your bullshit. Good luck to you. Night night. Bye bye.